Italy's first long-range interception test under the Michelangelo Security Dome marks more than a technical milestone. It signals a strategic pivot in how European states intend to defend their airspace in an era defined by hypersonic threats, drone saturation, and multi-vector missile attacks. When Leonardo announced that its new architecture had guided an Aster interceptor to a land-based range never before achieved by Italy's Sam PTNG, it was not merely confirming that a radar and a missile had performed well, it was demonstrating that the core premise of Michelangelo, a modular, open, multi-domain defensive web, is not aspirational theory but an emerging operational reality. The obvious question is, why does this matter now, and what does it mean for the future of European air and missile defense? To answer that, start with the hardware that made this record shot possible. The Kronos Grand Mobile High Power Radar is not just an incremental upgrade. It shifts the sensing layer into a different class. Its JN-based AESA architecture extends detection ranges by more than 30% compared to prior Kronos variants, and its instrumented range of roughly 250 kilometers in defense mode allows it to manage high-end aerial and missile threats at distances and altitudes previously reserved for larger fixed installations. The ability to track 500 targets while engaging up to 30 simultaneously with one-second refresh rates for engaged tracks makes it inherently suitable for the sort of complex, fast-evolving engagements that define modern missile warfare. If a single mobile radar can push the SAMPI TNG to a new range record, what happens when dozens of such nodes operate in a synchronized, data-fused network? That is the operational logic behind Michelangelo. The interceptor at the heart of the test, the Aster 30 and its B1NT configuration, is equally important. This is not a new missile, but the latest evolution of a battle-proven effector designed for both aircraft and ballistic missile engagements. With ranges on the order of 150 kilometers against aerodynamic threats and credible capabilities against short-range ballistic missiles, Aster 30 remains one of Europe's most effective interceptors. Its two-stage propulsion, inertial mid-course guidance, and active radar terminal seeker allow rapid reaction, high-G survivability, and maneuver authority across its envelope thanks to a combination of aerodynamic surfaces and lateral thrusters. In essence, the missile was already capable. The question was whether Italy's command and sensor architecture could unlock more from it. The December test suggests the answer is yes. Yet the test is only a fraction of a much broader redesign of national defense architecture. Michelangelo is not a system in the traditional sense. Leonardo describes it as a scalable, modular, multi-domain defensive framework. At its peak vision, it is meant to combine the entire national sensor ecosystem. Ground radars, naval AESA suites, airborne early warning, ISR aircraft, infrared detectors, cyber defense layers, and eventually space-based sensors, into a single decision-making and engagement environment. This reflects a shift from hierarchical, linear kill chains to flexible kill webs. Under the old model, a specific sensor queued a specific shooter. Under Michelangelo's MC5C5Y architecture, any sensor can feed any shooter, optimizing the pairing in real-time based on geometry, latency, and threat type. This is the same logic that underpins modern U.S. joint all-domain command and control JADC2 efforts and emerging Israeli and Turkish dome concepts. Italy is signaling that it intends not only to follow but to shape this doctrinal evolution. The fact that Michelangelo aims to manage data streams measured in hundreds of terabytes per second is not simply marketing exaggeration. Modern radar constellations, electro-optical satellites, and distributed passive sensors generate enormous raw data volumes. Processing them fast enough to support real-time engagement decisions requires high-performance computing, advanced networking, and AI-driven fusion algorithms. Leonardo and the Italian Ministry of Defense are effectively acknowledging that future air defense will be won or lost not through the individual arrows in the quiver, but through the speed and quality of information that selects which arrow to fire. In this sense, the December range record functions as a proof of concept. The system can already integrate cutting-edge sensors and effectors into a single engagement. The next step is scaling this integration across multiple domains. The roadmap for that scaling is already taking shape. The first iteration of the architecture, known as Dead Zone, is scheduled for delivery to the Italian MOD by 2027, integrated with current missile defense and space-based sensors. Additional spirals will follow over the subsequent two years, with a targeted full operational capability before 2030. Moreover, Italy is openly positioning Michelangelo as a federated solution for allied states. In a European theater where national systems remain fragmented, Germany with Iris T and Patriot, Poland with Patriot and the coming Nauru Shield, France with Samp T and others exploring Arrow 3, interoperability has long been more aspiration than reality. 
The European Sky Shield initiative attempts to solve part of this problem through pooled procurement and shared infrastructure, but Michelangelo proposes something complementary, a unifying operational and command and control layer capable of coordinating disparate effectors. This approach extends into the space domain. Italy's existing OPSAT 3000 and Cosmo Sky Med second generation constellations already provide high resolution optical and X band synthetic aperture radar imagery. Michelangelo intends not only to ingest those feeds, but to integrate forthcoming ISR and tracking satellites and new high throughput satellite communications layers. In parallel, Leonardo and the Italian Air Force are developing new fixed long range radars based on Kronos Power Shield technology with ranges exceeding 2,000 kilometers a capability explicitly aimed at ballistic and hypersonic detection. At sea, future Italian surface combatants will carry new S-band radars that complement both naval and ground-based sensors, allowing maritime groups to serve as mobile nodes of the defensive web. On land, SAMP TNG batteries, cyber modules, hardened command posts, and passive sensors will complete the picture. If this sounds ambitious, it is worth noting that the industrial ecosystem is deliberately structured to make the architecture extensible. Leonardo leads sensors, command systems, cyber and space segments, Fincantieri provides naval platforms, MBDA supplies effectors, and partner states can insert their own systems. This is crucial because Italy is not pitching Michelangelo as a closed national product, but as a framework that other European countries could adopt or integrate with. The implication is clear. Europe's fragmented air defense landscape has become strategically untenable given rising threats from Russia, Iran, and emerging drone missile complexes worldwide. A coherent, interoperable architecture could address vulnerabilities that no single nation, even France or Germany, can fully solve alone. All of this raises a final, broader question. Does Michelangelo signal a genuine shift in Europe's defense posture, or is it a sophisticated industrial proposal wrapped in strategic language? The December interception suggests the answer leans toward the former. The system's performance indicates that Italy is not merely theorizing about multi-domain integration. It is actively testing the components under operational conditions. The speed at which the architecture is intended to mature, first iteration by 2027, expansion by 2029, multinational integration by 2030, reflects a recognition that the window for building a credible continental defense web is narrowing. Hypersonic systems, precision-guided ballistic missiles, autonomous swarm drones, and long-range cruise missiles have already shifted the threat balance. Europe must respond with architectures that match this complexity. The Michelangelo security dome is still in its infancy, but the successful long-range interception provides a glimpse of what a truly integrated European defense future could look like. Sensors and shooters working across domains and borders, AI accelerating decisions and national systems forming a unified shield rather than isolated bubbles of capability. Whether Europe embraces this model remains to be seen, but Italy has just demonstrated that the technical foundations are not only feasible but already operating, and that alone makes this milestone far more significant than a simple record-breaking missile shot.